Morning guys and welcome to another stream from Bang Average Tanker. And today we're going to see two replays of the sexy new Lansen C, the Swedish tier 8 premium medium tank, getting the Oskins medal. What's the Oskins medal? Well the Oskins medal is basically killing three enemy tanks or tank destroyers that are a tier higher than you in a random battle. So in this first game we're on Abbey, I'm already heading to the usual, well that's a usual spot, but there's a couple of spots on here. I'm trying to use the Lanson's mobility to get somewhere quite quickly. Now the Lanson, um, a bit of a glass cannon, it's got a nice gun. Its armor's a bit troll, I mean it can bounce some stuff, but it's not amazing. Um, actually the gun is really, really good. So I'm trying to get in a position where I can... Uh, support the middle you know get somewhere quite quickly see, i'm just being a bit careful here to make sure there's no one here i'm trying to get to the middle to the, the spot in e2 where i can overlook the middle and do some damage um, and unfortunately while that happens i don't get a lot of damage <laughs> so i've got there um it just turns out that not many of the enemy wanted to go there either um, so we're in a battle now and I'm just happily looking around to see what's going on and the battle starts ensuing around me I'm just you know focused on this spot here come on someone turn up but they're not doing it and as you can see there's um, the enemy team have arrived here and I've sort of like decided well maybe I should actually be uh, helping here oh hang on I've noticed that the T10's gone back to the base and that side is is open Oh, hang on, what's this? So I'm racing back to see it, but then look, what's this Prichetto doing? Well, we can't leave him there, can we? We can't have this. What's going on? Bang. Just one Prochetto. He's dead. So the enemy are now pushing on our cap with uh, their tier 9 heavies, the uh, T10 and the Object 257. Come back to another nice little sniping spot and see what I can see. T10. Mm, I'm not uh, bounced. Wow. First one bounced. Second shot, does it bounce? No, the second shot goes through. I can't get any shots on this to 57. And then there's a T32 that just magically appeared behind me. And a pilot one just sort of popped up there. And that poor pilot one really is in for a bad time now. Um, but at the moment, I've only got one Progetto kill, and that's not a tank destroyer that's a tier higher, is it? Or a tank that's a tier higher, so... Oh, I've got two now. Two kills, so that's two tier eights. Um, that T10 and the object 257, there's an RHM in the middle that's causing a bit of hassle. But our RHM destroyed their RHM, so let's just uh, move around and see if we can get some shots on these, or some better shots on these two tier 10 heavies. Sorry, tier 9 heavies, top tier heavies. Um, it, it's a case of damage limitation at this point. I mean, we've got, we're 9-3 up at the minute, so I don't think it's going to be a loss. It's just a case of farming damage. Now, this T10... Is running around here. I clutch my first shot. Look, oh look, first shot, bang! Oh, I tracked him. Okay. But he bounced off me, which was like troll armor. And I get his nice shot on his lower plate. First kill. So there's the first of the three that I need to get the Oskins. Now I'm not trying to get the Oskins at this point. Now you're a bit foot. This again. This is a bit crazy. This second shot onto the object. He is tunneled visioned at me. Just look who comes flying in. The Wizzy 11114 screams in. I'm going to get your luck. Oh. And this dude here, I bounced him in his troll vision tank, but he was so focused on me, he just didn't bother with the Wizzy. But anyway, there's that second kill for 10. Sorry, second kill for 9 for the Oskin, so that's 2. T95, all that's left. Where is he? 
Oh, he's there. He's down the back. Right, so I need to do a bit of a Yui. I mean, at this point, I've taken no damage. <laughs> the only shot that's fired and hit was from the uh, T10, and it missed. It, well, it bounced, which is, like, really, really surprising for this tank, but it does pull those shots off every now and again. Which is why I said it's a bit of a glass cannon, but the armor can be quite troll. So if you're moving, if you hold down, if you're at a slight angle, the turret's a bit bouncy, you know, you're good. Everyone's screaming now, mine, mine, and that T10 decides he's going to be back in, back himself into the, towards the river and get himself in a position which he can defend. And all our brave, brave tier 10 heavies and tier 9 heavies, and sorry, I keep saying tier 10, but it's tier 10, our oh, top tier heavies, just like, oh no, now our top tier TD and, you know, don't want to go, don't shoot me, I'm not going to go, don't shoot me, I don't want to get hurt. So me and this um, T-54 Mod 1 have the same idea, let's go in from the side and carefully aim a shot, bang, and he's gone. So there you go, that's the three kills needed. So straight into the second game, and this time we're on Overlord, and it's a tier 10 game this time, so I can say tier 10 without fluffing up the uh, audio track of the video even though i probably won't so what am i doing well this is overlord and i'm only in a tier eight okay i've got good gun depression but well it's all a bit meh in this tank i don't really want to be fighting tier tens cran wagon so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sit at the back in a nice comfy bush i'm going to camp like a pro and uh let's see what happens so we've got our scout tank there in front of me thinking the same sort of thing Scouting really scout, but you know, I'm doing it so I can't really complain, can I? So what's actually happening? Well, we've got I have some of our heavies pushing the middle, mediums, 430, T50. I think, oh, well, I better push up. I think I get spotted, actually, at this point. But this ridge line I'm going to turns out to be quite a nice little spot for me. I do get spotted. The Centurion shoots and misses. Misses? It misses. But we've got a Cran Wagon over there, which is not going to be good. Um, I'm screaming about gun depression at this point. Where is my gun depression? Uh, there's a T, what's that? T44, an Object 252U, a Cran Wagon, and a Jack Panther E100, more towards the middle. Right, 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 they're a long way away, so we're good with them. So it's just waiting for one of these little tanks to pop up nicely. If you see where I'm looking, you know, I've, you can see I can, I've got gun depression over this ridge line, so I've got some clear shots. Oh, and there's the T-57 Heavy there. That was me saying I didn't want to be fighting <laughs> enemy tanks, uh, enemy tier 10s, but guess what? I am. No shots, but then this Krenwagen comes up, and I clutch my first shot, but I do track him. I was spotted, but I'm being a bit greedy now, just bang, oh. Hit by a bat chat as well that's there, and the Cran Wagon, that's like, no! No, right, so drop back, go dark, and then come back up again. See, that bat chat was, didn't even get himself spotted, so he must have some decent camo. He's probably sitting right at the edge. Shot into that, into the, into the scent. Spotted again though, probably by that bat chat. He need, we need to get rid of that bat chat at some point, or someone needs to get rid of him, because I don't like him there. Drop back, go dark again, and come back, use the bush. Not getting their attention much here, though. Oh, there's the bat chat. Fire a shot at him. God knows where that went, but it got me spotted. But now we know where the bat chat is, at least, or where he was. He's kind of doing the same sort of thing as I'm doing. He's um, sitting at the back trying to get side shots at everything. Right, T-57 Heavy coming out. Yes, please. Yeah, 338 damage there. That's good. I've also got 1,000 spotting damage from this position, so it's not too bad. Another shot that just got waffled on the object, but I got spotted. So, yeah, look, uh, reverse, get out of there. 252U. I bounced off his turret. At the bat chat again. 
Right, this time I'm going to make sure I get him. Yeah, he's coming through the field, so he's not going to be good. He's going to die. Goodbye. I'll take a hit there to get rid of that bat chat. But they've n I've kind of got their attention now. So I definitely need to go die. But there's a lot of one shots out there. I waffle that shot. That one went, I think, into the ground, into the hill in front of him. But look at these one shots. T50. Oh, crap. Caravan. Bang. That's the caravan dead. So that's two. Two tanks that are a tier above, at least. Um, object 430. Was that three? <clears throat> and there's not lot left of the enemy team now. It's literally these three tanks here. The, you know, two tanks here. SU. The object it comes around again. And, and how that again bounced. But there we go. Job's a good one. Victory! And so to the battle results. So for the first game, we get a second class, a fighter, a firefighter effect, and of course the Oskins medal. Um, we made 70, well, the base was 70,000 credits with 1,682 XP and 5 bombs. And if we look at the detailed score, so we fired 12 shots, 12 shots hit, but only 9 penned. 2,183 damage, 361 from a distance. Um, I received one hit, but it didn't bounce. That was from the uh, T10. Enemy vehicles damage destroyed, so all, all, all the tanks that I shot at died, and damage due to the players' assistance, 97. Woo! So I received 70,000 credits. I, I lost 45, probably from firing, um, firing gold at the end towards the heavies. But I still made 25k. Um, we had a base XP of 1,000. Because it's a premium tank, it was 15, premium account, it was 1529 which was 1683 in total. If we look at the team score, I mean, we just whooped their asses, didn't they? I mean, they were really, really bad on that game. And then in the second game, so again, second class, fire for effect, duelist this time, Oskins medal, again, obviously, 78,140 credits earned, 2,688 XP, and again, five bombs. If we look at the details, so literally, I want two, three, four, five, six, six tanks hit. These detailed reports, sorry. 14 shots fired, only 11 hit. You did see me whiffle a lot more shots in that game. And eight pens. Slightly less damage, 1891. Hits received three, and all three penned. So, yeah, I didn't do as well that time, keeping myself hidden. But that was that pesky back chat that kept lighting me up all the time. Uh, enemy vehicle spotted one. Vehicles damage destroyed, six vehicles hit, three destroyed. So yeah, spreading my damage out a bit more. But this time I got more as well, more spotting. I got 1,506 spotting damage. So I made 78,000 credits. I wasn't firing gold, you noticed. So, okay, I got some repairs and some ammo costs. And I actually made 63,964 credits. So again, a base XP of 1120, which goes up to 1680 for a premium account. Um, I also had a personal mission running, personal reserve running. So that went up to a total of about... Was that 2,000, 2,688? So there you have it, folks. The Lansen Sea. What do you think of it? What do you think of the Oskins medal? Is it a good medal to get? I mean, remember, you are destroying tanks that are a tier above you, and at tier 8, you tend to be getting that all the time, don't you? Okay, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, um, and please check out all my other social media bits and pieces. I stream regularly on Twitch, uh, on Twitch TV, Slimes40k, and I'm also on Facebook as Bang Average Tanker, and you're here, so you know about my, my YouTube channel, but there it is just in case. And finally, one big shout out to all the guys at Philo. Philo is a great, great community of game players. We don't just play World of Tanks, we've got clans in Division 2. Um, world of Warships. So if you're looking for a great group of guys to play games with, just come and join us in Philo and have some fun. There's a link below. Come and say hello. Okay guys, thank you and I'll see you again next time.